Hi, this is Ian Harrison, and today we're going to be demonstrating how to install a set of Crimson Trace laser grips. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Kimber 1911, but the procedure is applicable to pretty much any semi-auto. Nonetheless, you should refer to the installation guide that came with your laser grips. Safety first, then. First thing I'm going to do is check the weapon is unloaded. Putting in a safe direction, you clear it, and clear it again. Next thing, I'm going to take my laser grips out of the box they came in and I'm going to install the batteries. The batteries in this case install so that the positive side is facing outwards. Once I've installed the batteries, I'm then going to remove the original grip panels that came with the pistol. To do that, I'm using an appropriately sized Allen wrench or a screwdriver and I'm just going to remove the grip screws and pop the panels off. Keep the, grip screws, keep the grip screws safe, you're going to need those later. The nice thing about using Crimson Trace laser grips is that, as you can see, there's no gunsmith needed to install them. All you need is a screwdriver and yourself. Once I've got the original grip panels off, I'm then going to install dust shields if they came with the laser grips. In 1911, you're going to need, dust, need the dust shields. Once the dust shields are installed, I'm going to take the laser grips and push one panel on on the right-hand side, roll the gun over, push the second panel on, and once they're snapped in position over the grip screw bushings, I'm just going to install the original screws. Okay, we're going to function check the gun now, and we're going to function check the laser. Make sure that it's pointing in a safe direction, you grip the, the gun in a normal firing grip, and you should see the laser turn on. If it doesn't turn on immediately, the first thing we're going to check is the master on off switch located on the left hand bottom of the grip panel. That should be in the up position. Now that we've verified the fit and installation of the laser grips, we can now take them to the range. You should have a look at our sighting in video for tips as to how to sight these in.